In this video, I'm going to make a chunky oscillator where I beef up the sound that's coming from the regular oscillator outputs and make it richer. Um, the first example is uh, using the uh, USG, the Universal Slope Generator, as a low-pass gate or in low-pass gate mode. So I take the sawtooth output, put it into the regular input of the USG, take the regular output of the USG and put it into the audio. I've got the uh, the rise time not at the shortest about it's at about uh, two o'clock one or two o'clock and then I'm operating the fall time to, to give the low pass gate effect so the, the, the sound gets louder in volume and at the same time it gets richer that's basically kind of low pass gate function um, I can take a, a second USG to modulate the frequency, to modulate basically to move this four pot up and down the way I've been doing it by hand. And I'll put this uh, second USG into oscillating mode, turn it into an envelope, and then take that. I've got a little bit of feedback here, negative feedback to change the curve to a little bit con convex curve. I'm going to use that to control the control this fall knob. Uh, if I find the melody a bit or this uh, oscillator a bit boring, I can use this same slope generator to clock the sequencer, and then I get a few different pitches in my melody. of the envelope on that knob. Okay, so that's basically where it starts from, uh, but it gets more interesting and a lot richer and a lot louder. So I'm going to turn it down a bit. When we put this USG into self-oscillating mode, a kind of distortion that's coming from the fact that this this USG is also oscillating at the same time as it's filtering and you can tell it's oscillating at the same time as filtering because if you take the input away you can hear it that's what it sounds like without the input and now this gives you a whole new range of sounds You can have this kind of negative type of effect. You need that turned quite far to the right, the full knob, for that negative kind of reverse type of effect. things a lot there. Now there's a nice thing going on between the pitches of the uh, oscillator and the uh, pitch cycle of the the USG which are making kind of different timbral effects. Thank you. 
with the self-oscillating USG low gate, low pass gate. Okay, another variation on that is uh, to use a sine wave input into the USG instead of the sawtooth input and uh, this gives a different flavor especially when you start to move the rise time to a shorter shorter values So some pretty rich waveforms there. And then we can get another variation by taking the trigger output and listening to what that sounds like. That's again rich, but in a different way. Again, still using the sine wave. Listen to, of course, both of them at the same time. 